In this first video segment, we're going to learn how refrigerants such as R22 or R410A can transfer heat. We're going to show an animation of a cooler with ice in it. One of the first methods of refrigeration was the use of ice in an ice box. And we're going to show you how ice is a great refrigerant. And then we're going to apply the same principles that relate to ice to a mechanical refrigeration system that uses modern chemical refrigerants. But to begin our presentation on the fundamentals of air conditioning, we're going to start with the ice cube. Air conditioners can transfer heat because heat energy always travels from warmer objects to colder objects. When two objects at different temperatures are placed together, the heat energy from the warmer object will flow to the colder object. A cooler is a great example of how heat transfers from hot to cold. When cold ice and warm food are placed in a cooler, the heat energy from the warmer food will flow to the colder ice. The transferring of heat from the food to the ice in effect lowers the temperature of the food because there is now less energy in the food. The ice gains heat energy and will begin to melt. The transfer of heat is massive when a change of state such as melting ice occurs. Unfortunately, the cooler will eventually run out of ice. When the ice is gone, the cold water in the cooler will absorb some heat, but not as much as when the ice was present. When the water temperature and food temperature are equal, the heat transfer will stop. Remember, the heat transfer rate will be highest when the ice is melting, not when water is rising in temperature. Ice is a great refrigerant, but eventually it all melts. Let's summarize what we just learned in our cooler animation. We learned that hot goes to cold. We also learned that heat transfer stops when there is no longer a temperature differential. Modern refrigerants change their state in a similar manner as ice. We're going to learn that refrigerants such as R22 and R410A, when placed in a mechanical refrigeration system, have the ability to transfer massive amounts of thermal energy. Unlike ice, they change their state and can be used over and over and over again. And we're going to learn more about the science of the mechanical refrigeration cycle in the next films.